That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about Troop Zero, which will be available on Amazon streaming services January 17th. Uh, notably, it closed the 2019 Sundance Film Festival. It was directed by uh, Bert and Bertie. That's uh, two uh, women directors making their debut. One's from the UK, one's from South Africa. Uh, written by uh, the author of Beasts of the Southern Wild. Uh, that was her previous screenplay. Uh, Lucy Albin, and uh, stars two Oscar winners, Allison Janney and Viola Davis. Davis serves as producer. Uh, I believe it's only going to be available streaming, however. So this film is about a band of like misfit kids mm -hmm. who are trying to win a competition through like a Girl Scout type organization to have their experience like commemorated by NASA and sent off into the sky. To correspond with, with aliens. aliens. Uh, it's 1977 rural Georgia, a town called Wigley. Uh, the lead is Christmas Flint, played by McKenna Grace, who is a little girl that whose mother recently died and has experienced... She's kind of a social pariah because she wets herself when she's nervous. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, and she uh, takes it upon herself to put together a group of other misfit children uh, in the Birdie Scouts, uh, one of which is a, a young homosexual boy named Joseph, um, <laughs> played by Charlie Shotwell. Uh, then uh, her dad is Jim Gaffigan, who is a Jim lawyer. Gaffigan. Not a very good one. He's lost every case. Correct. His assistant is Viola Davis. Miss Raylene. Who uh, wanted, had aspirations to be a lawyer, but never went to law school because she was chasing some man around. Mm -hmm. uh, Allison Janney plays the principal of the school all of these kids go to. Mm -hmm. And she's like the goody two-shoes version. Because her, of, of the duo of her and Viola Davis, because they kind of grew up together. Mm -hmm. Right? But is also a closet alcoholic. Is, was she? Well, she was drinking and I was Oh, I guess I didn't notice that. Oh, that's right, she was. Mm -hmm. um, so, the story is pretty weird. I, watching the trailer and reading the plot synopsis, I thought it would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I was interested in seeing Viola Davis uh, play like a comedic role. And she does okay at that. Mm -hmm. um, she just seemed very cold. Like yeah. In, in places well, where she, let's start with the things that we like. So what did you like about the film? I like Allison Janney and uh, Viola Davis. Uh, you know, they've been in The Help and Get On Up together. Neither of those movies I liked. But uh, they have great chemistry. Um, I wish the film had focused on them, to be honest. They're, they're the best part of it. Okay. I think the dynamic of the kids, I think, is probably the... Because, you know, it's a heartwarming story of, sure. you know... Uh, sort of misfit kids uh, coming together and finding friendship and I did shed a few little small tears so that was probably the best I do like Jim Gaffigan a lot and just watching him on screen is amusing um, his character was kind of a I almost want to use the word buffoon yeah because mm -hmm. he's a lawyer who doesn't win any cases and forgets to put pants on before he leaves the mobile home and mm -hmm. it, it was a lot it there are so many good people in this film, mm -hmm. and I do think the writing was good. The dialogue didn't bother me at all. The I dialogue. just think that it, it's a little miscast, like the tone is a little off. Viola Davis is very heavy, mm -hmm. like as she is cold. As she is wont to be. Uh, she was doing Viola Davis in like a little indie comedy, like heart, you know, inspirational film, and I don't think it translated. Also, I feel like it. It, it feel. It doesn't feel like 1977. Uh, it waters down kind of the reality of things. In so that that's what I was going to say, because you were going to say that, that it, it feels, feels like it was like... written by white people. <laughs> and my first thought watching it was like, they got black ass Viola Davis in here. She just seems so out of place. Mm -hmm. And the way everyone's interacting with her seems so out of place. But, you know, I don't know. But it's again, it's a film that advocates for its white characters. It's another movie where there's a little girl, a little white girl that everybody's caring about. And I brought up uh, M McKenna Grace to also start in a film called Gifted a couple years ago with Octavia Spencer in a very similar role to Oct uh, Viola Davis here. Okay. That th There's much ado about this little white girl. And why? Especially because she is paired with a little black girl whose character's name is Hell No and apparently lives on her own. Nobody gives a fuck about where this girl's parents are. And there's just, I don't know, like, 
Well, I'm not going to bring race into it because I don't, I mean... I know, the homosexuality thing too, because I was a young gay kid in rural Minnesota, and let me tell you, people... <laughs> You know, well, this this paints a bright, pretty picture. It does paint a bright, pretty picture, and I'm you can go there. I'm not because I just feel like it's a you know if it's meant to be just a cute, heartwarming story, then that's fine. I think it's just miscast with Viola Davis because she's very uh, uh, Black Pantherish. <laughs> just her attitude and her appearance, which you Angela know, Davis. a black and yeah. yeah, she's very Angela Davis. But obviously, in 1977, a, a dark-skinned black woman with an afro is going to look that way. But I, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, it just feels like if you're gonna write, it didn't feel like a real story. If you're gonna write those kind of characters, do them justice. Make like other my my childhood wasn't like that, and I doubt that a little flamboyant gay boy in 1977 rural Georgia would watch this as an adult and be like, yeah, that's how it felt. No, they wouldn't. And you know, I also experienced that growing up, and I I don't. Yes, it didn't feel real, but also it did feel good to see this little gay boy sure. in Georgia in the 70s be accepted for the most part sure. by his family. He was bullied, but his family seemed to accept him. Mm -hmm. It's just a heartwarming, feel-good story. Um, I just think that the tone's a little off. The casting well, is a little off. We also talked about how Viola Davis's character, who his life has been on hold, and we're fed little secretive bits about why, uh, but is asked to stay. Okay, so I think that's the biggest problem too, is like Viola Davis's character who expresses a want to do more, like go back mm -hmm. to law school, be a lawyer. She's clearly more competent than her boss, Jim Gaffigan. Mm -hmm. And then at a point he asks her to like not pursue that and stay to be with him because he's such, she's such a good employee. Well, no, and watch over his little girl. And watch over his little girl who she has no interest in doing. Or in. No, in fact, he, he makes her uh, be their troop leader. Like paying her, obviously, but you know. So the girl, so the kids, Christmas wants to be a part of this NASA, like, you know, exploration video thing. So she knows she has to start a birdie troop and they need a mother, like a den mother. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Jim Gaffigan's character forces her to do that in a way that's, you know, meant to be kind of charming and sweet. I mean, he wasn't like bullying her. No. But yeah, it does feel like this character is dismissed. Mm -hmm. And I think as a, a female, a black female character, it did feel kind of like, oh, you just don't give a shit about her hopes and dreams. And then, like you said, there is... I just think it's interesting that for all of the things that it's trying to do, the hetero patriarchy is still very much in place. <laughs> like, there's nothing Well, so you can go about. there. I just think that it felt like... And it, Mike Epps, what is Mike Epps doing? But, you know, getting a, he has a young a wife check, with sure. a baby, so he needs a check. Um, mm. I think that it feels like Little Rascals, that, that old timey show. Did you ever watch yeah. it? Mm -hmm. But In then the it, but but then it's trying to have some depth and I think that's where it missteps. Like it's either it either needs to be light and fluffy and fun or it needs to be serious. Mm -hmm. But, and if you're going to be serious, be real. Because if you're going to combine the two, then it, I mean, that's where the real skill comes in. Mm -hmm. That's why I think, sure. you know, like Little Miss Sunshine, mm -hmm. which kind of reminded me of this, or this film reminded sure. me of that. That film's so good because it balances that. And I think this film does a poor job of balancing. Well, because not being afraid to show the dysfunction of the world that it's set in, too. In the it seems, so then, I, I mean, like you said, it does, I could see, like, you know, two non-people of color who maybe didn't have to grow up in that environment write like a nice happy story about rural Georgia in the late 70s. <laughs> like, I don't think shit was that cute, but, but uh, you know, the kid it's actors fun. are really good. They, they are. Their dynamics yeah. really sweet. Um, Allison Janney is always really fun Enjoy to watch. watch. Although and I her with Viola Davis, their moments are fun. Yeah. And yeah, it would have been nice for them to kind of, because their relationship seems pretty rich. Yeah, and but, and but 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 it's not flushed out. So. No, it's not flushed out. So that when it comes to the you know grand finale that you will predict from a mile off, um, and their kind of reconciliation is very, you know, it's too easily won. But yeah, I feel I was excited for this watching the trailer, so I I did leave it disappointed, but I do think it is a heartwarming story. And the child actors are very good, so I would like to see them in other things, particularly... Well, she'll be in Ghostbusters 3. Yeah. And she's McKenna Grace. So. Um, and, and she was a young eye And I do like seeing Jim Gaffigan acting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but he was in that that snake 
uh, oh, cult yeah. movie yeah. earlier this year too. <laughs> anyway, what would you give this film? I give this. This is being liberal. Two and a half out of five stars. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll give it two and a half out of five. Okay. I want to give it two. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you know. I'll give it two. I don't think it's a good, <laughs> I don't think it's like a great movie, and I cry at a lot of things, so I mean, that's not a marker for a quality film. No, of course not. I, okay, I'll give it two and a half out of five. Oh, okay. All right. Twisted your arm there. All right. All right. Bye. bye.